Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Story time about a date that I just had last night that was... So I have been entertaining this person for a little bit of time. Super cool dude, personal trainer, owns his own business, owns his own gym. I'm like, you are right up my alley. Obviously, and blah 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 for one more minute. I get there, nice dude, greets me really nice, hold the door open. Not even 60 seconds of us sitting at our dinner table. His first question to me is, well, what happened between you and your ex? And I very politely was just like, you know, I don't really want to talk. Like, we don't have to talk about this on first dates. We can talk about this. Like, if we hang out again, we'll get into a deep conversation about it. It just doesn't need to be brought up now. That was just not good enough for him. He was like, no, like, I want to know. Like, tell me about it. And I'm like, great, here we go was with him for five years, didn't know any at the time, come to find out that he's a narcissist and yada, 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 yada. Yada, yada. Nah, we got it. He only asked that question about your ex because you don't tell on yourself faster than when you're talking about your ex. He was, if you ask me, pretty interested in getting to know you. And he did get to know a lot about you with one simple question. Okay, so hear me out. Matt? I'm on the dating scene. I've got Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, you name it, I've got the app, right? I'm trying to find the man of my dreams. But I always get stuck on one thing, and it's communication. Do guys not know how to communicate properly? Like, comment below if you're a guy and you do know how to communicate, because please hit me up. <laughs> Because at the moment, guys don't know how to communicate. And me saying in your comments, I do know how to communicate will convince you. You've mentioned three dating apps. Even if you're only on those three, there are millions of men that you can possibly meet or talk to. You couldn't find one out of millions? <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, I have no idea what an online coach on TikTok means. But if it means dating coach, you've nailed it. That must really be going your way. Here's an idea. Maybe when you get tired of being on all dating apps, that can possibly be on your phone stop for a second and consider that maybe men communicate on a different way than what you expect them to how much money would it take for you to cheat on him a lot a lot how much money would it take for you to cheat on her nah, there's no money there we have it folks <laughs> this is a solid couple how much is a lot like Above 10 grand. Above 10 grand? I mean, yeah. She could buy you some pretty nice things with that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 10 grand. I was, I was going to say like a mil, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this proves that men are kings. And uh, But she's, I love my girlfriend. She's also a queen, a queen. okay? Yeah. These are kings and queens here. <laughs> Of course she is. She just told you she's gonna sell her entire kingdom for $10,000, but that don't matter, does it? And I get it. $10,000, it's still good money. You can buy nice things, sure. You can even buy a Romanian car that is almost as good as a cart pulled by a horse. It can sometimes go just as fast. But let's stop pretend for a second. If she's willing to trade her entire relationship for $10,000, she's gonna do it for way less too. I'm sleeping over at this guy's house tonight, but I've just realized that the only thing I wear to bed is my ex's shirts. So how am I supposed to sleep over? Like these are my PJs and he's gonna know. He's gonna be like, whose shirt is that? And I'm gonna be like, it's my ex-boyfriend's, but it's like not weird. And it's not like I have any sentimental value to them or anything, they're just shirts, but like they're super comfy and I feel like he would never talk to me again. I don't know, is it weird that I still wear all of his shirts to bed? Like it's not even just like one or two, I have like 12. <laughs> Cool story. What was the point of the story? No one knows. Let me guess the guy was in the bathroom and you made a TikTok and by the power of magic or maybe even manifestation, your exit shirt, at least one of them 12s, ended up at the new guy's place. Oh no, I'm gonna wear my exit t-shirt when I'm with the new guy. Will you even be wearing any t-shirt at all? Moral of the story, I think is your ex had way too many t-shirts. All right, people, we have another date review. This is the only other dinner date I went on since my last video. And this guy gets 10 out of 10. He treated me like a princess. I can't believe I've been accepting the bare minimum for so long.
because I literally forgot that this still exists and it was so nice to be reminded of it. He carried my bag, he ordered whatever I wanted, he ordered ice for the table because I hurt my thumb earlier. He opened every door, he was so thoughtful and caring and he was genuinely interested in getting to know me and like all of that was completely reciprocated. It wasn't just me being the therapist like last time. And for the men watching, because he treated me like a princess, it makes me want to give him even more. Just keep that in the back of your head, please. I absolutely will, at least until I see the next TikTok. I think the moral of the story here was uh, you should only accept princess treatment even though that was just a story. And don't get me wrong, I do know that good men exist. Good men that are gonna treat you right. And I'm guessing, or better said, hoping that this is what you mean by princess treatment. On the other hand, what makes your story just a story is that he carried your bag. You mean your purse? Because you know that might make him the princess. There's a lot of upsides to having fangs like keeping weirdos off your back in public. Today I was out running errands and this person was just a little, little too uncomfy, right? So I just turned around and hissed at him. Just <laughs> they didn't bother me none after that. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I bet. Let me try to make sense out of this. He was a little bit uncomfy. The, I'm guessing that means I'm comfortable. He felt uncomfortable and you still hissed at him? Aren't you the nicest person? I just realized something. Anyone remembers a few years back, Pitbull was Mr. International or Mr. Worldwide or something. Obviously he wasn't. And not because the obvious reasons, but apparently Dracula was Mr. Worldwide. Get ready with me to go on a solo date post breakup. Not just now, I have a better idea. Get ready without me. Just in case no one was wondering, I'm gonna let you know they both reached the point they wanted. I'm saying that if you truly believe that no one likes you, then yeah, you're probably right. The facts are facts, babe. Like, I don't mean that to be condescending, but I'm 32 and I've never had a boyfriend and I have been through every step of manifesting and positive thinking and holding my hopes up and trying to just be the light that I am and put that out into the world for whoever wants it, not just men. And I come up empty handed every time. And it's so exhausting because I just feel like I'm sick of crying over these men and these failed friendships that like, I, I didn't do anything to, to, I just existed. Like the proof is in the pudding here. I, I'm not, I am, I am a full, a well-rounded person and I've worked so hard on myself. And when you still come up short, it just, I don't know how you, how you move forward from there step by step but there will be three major steps that you need to take step one stop watching the videos that you're watching like the video that you chose to use as an example step two forget all about that manifestation bs obviously it's not working this will become an easier step if you follow step one and step three be normal and even this will get easier if you follow step one and two i had to break it to you but you are the proof in the pudding every man and every friendship you had was gone well maybe try to be normal around normal people. Hey, can I work in with you? Yeah, totally, 100%. Yeah, it's all you. Only Jim Bros will understand. Well, she does look impressed, so I'll give you that. But fair is fair, let's watch something that only Jim ladies will understand. Unfortunately, there is no sound for this video, so I'm gonna ruin the entire video with my voice. She was pretty impressed at the beginning too, wasn't she? That kind of changed a little and she was not that much impressed <laughs> towards the end of the video. When I wake up well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who are. Mate, mate, we just started. Well, I wake up, 
Well, I know. Oh, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. And I would walk 500 miles and I would just be that bound to walk. You gotta see the positives in everything. Glass always half full and all that. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.